Hi guys, it's Candy Chantal. Welcome back to my channel. So I have a story to tell you. Yesterday I filmed a shopping vlog in Harrods and decided to go to Zara afterwards, which is right next door. I was pickpocketed and my phone was stolen. So yesterday's vlog is completely gone. And I saw some Chanel 22P pieces that I hadn't seen before. So unfortunately that footage is all gone. Um, I'm hoping to go back to Harrods in a couple of days because 22S, which is a spring summer collection in Chanel, was being launched in a couple of days. So I'm gonna film a vlog for that, but as I said, yesterday's footage is gone, so I'm gonna to have to refilm. I visited the um, Prado Tropicana kind of tropical thing that they've replaced the chalet with, and I saw an amazing Hermes coat for 21,000 pounds, and it was so nice, and a Louis Vuitton coat. So hopefully they're still there when I film the 22S um, vlog for you guys. And right now I'm outside Clipstone, which is a restaurant in between Marlebone and Fitzrovia. I came here last week, for lunch and the food was really good so I've come here today to try some more of their menu so the first part of this vlog is going to be me having this lunch and in the next part you'll see um, me in a couple of days in Harrods filming the 22s um, shopping vlog so guys for this snack course I've got some falafel and for my main guys I've got comfy duck ragu and for dessert guys I've got rhubarb and custard milfay Guys, I've just walked up to this place called The Good Rice. It's an Italian like bakery and like they do all Italian stuff. And as you guys, I don't know if you know, I love cannoli, which are these. If you don't know, I actually make them from scratch at home. But today I'm getting these lobster tails with the fresh ricotta cheese filling. I wanted the big one, but it's not available, so I've got two small ones. So yeah, the stuff in here is yummy, guys. So good. Oh my gosh, guys, these look so yummy. These mini lobster tails with fresh ricotta cheese filling and chocolate chips hi guys it's candy chantelle welcome back to my channel i'm just arriving outside selfridges as you can see we're going to look at some 22s in here then i'm going to walk down to mount street to go to goyard because my birthday is fast approaching so i want to look at a bag then we're going to go to lunch at carluccio's in south kensington then i'm going to walk up to harrods and hopefully re refilm the vlog that i just told you guys about that i lost because of a pickpocket who stole my phone, um, so I have to refilm some of the stuff from that vlog and also look at some 22S in Harrods, hopefully. So we've got quite a fun packed field day. It's nice and sunny today, so I'm quite happy to be out and walking about. So let's see how today goes on. Guys, I just put my name in the queue. There's only five people in front of me. Look at this play suit. Very nice with the cutout back, can you see it? And I love this cardigan. I remember I saw it on the runway and I fell in love, but you know, prices, prices. Guys, I didn't know they did this heart bag in gold, but here it is in the display. So guys, let's see some ready to wear, wear in the Chanel 22S collection. I'm not sure what this is. I don't think it's a big bag. Um, I'm not sure if it's old or new, but guys, look at this cardigan. Beautiful. Love this. I'm not sure how I feel about these new Chanel 22 bags, to be fair. Um, plain black skirt. They've got the crop top and trouser set that's similar to this waistcoat. And yeah, they're really pushing this Chanel 22 bag. It's not bad, but it's not great. Just look at the buttons on this waistcoat, guys. Can you see that? It's like glittery crystals around the edge. Sorry, my camera was not there. But the CC is so beautiful. And guys, there's the heart bag everyone's gone crazy about, but I'm not sure why. Um, I don't really think they're that great. I'm not sure if this skirt is from 22S. I'm going to ask. So guys, I'm just in the Chanel change room. They've got limited, like, ready-to-wear pieces. They've got a few little jackets and tops. But I found an amazing leather black jacket, which I'm about to try on now. It's hanging there. But I thought I'd do a quick outfit of the day before um, I try that on. I've got my Louis Vuitton Louise earrings on. I've got this black faux fur poncho, I guess, on. My Chanel brooch, some ripped up black jeans. Black Chanel trainers on the feet, of course. I've got my diamond tennis bracelet on and my diamond ring. And um, yeah, that's my hair's in a ponytail. And that's it. So here's the jacket. Beautiful leather jacket. Would have preferred some gold detailing on the buttons, but look at this. It looks like it's not shown on camera, but they're actually like crystals in there. Um, 
22S, um, £8,000. Apparently this came in two days ago and I'm the first person to try it on. They only have one size which is a UK 40 so that's a size up from what I would usually take so it should be fine. Hey guys, this is what the jacket looks like, what do you think? It's a nice cropped cut, longer sleeves, um, I think it's so pretty. This mini, look at the chain. I am going to ask if this is 22S and how much it is. This is absolutely beautiful. Guys, look at this like, very interesting Paco Rabanne window display. It says it's the archive. There you go. 1999 dress. So they all have um, the little, this is 1997. So they all have the details underneath. So interesting. Look at these trousers, like, can you even sit down in these? <laughs> like, do you just stand up all day while, we while wearing them? Very interesting. I just thought I'd show you guys, it's obviously, it's not anything that's, where you can actually buy or wear, um, but it's quite a nice display, I thought. I was just walking past Bottega Veneta and I saw this dress like it's actually quite plain and simple but I just love the green against the black so nice obviously green is like a statement for this current collection or whatever I don't follow Bottega but clearly you can see even on their denim they've got this green stitching and on the white pieces green is this green is such a beautiful color though guys I'm just walking past Celine and look at this jacket it's like giving Chanel vibes but it's so nice this orange is beautiful it's 2400 SA said they have it in black and red this is so beautiful like I look at the details okay guys I've had to put the glasses back on because my eyebrows look crazy they look like thick black worms anyway this is the Celine jacket on um, I love this jacket. This is a 38, so French 38, which is the equivalent to a UK size 8. Um, this is so gorgeous. It's just such a pretty jacket with the gold buttons, just finishes it off. It's so nice. Um, I have to check the price. I think it's 2000 something, but um, so pretty. Yeah, so guys, it's. 2400 so nice so so pretty so guys just passing by Gucci I saw this vest top the other day I was walking past I like this I do like this a lot I think it's I, no I saw it on uh, far fetch my trees I think it's about 650 645 I believe They've got the jumper in the green. I wonder if they do the vest top in the green because this is like a really pretty green. I should ask them. Something about this I quite like, guys, too. The red and the navy and the white. Um, it's very nice, this jumper. It doesn't have a hood, though, but it's cute with the kind of lace up. This is 1,100. Okay, guys, so I'm just stopping off in Fendi um, and they've got some more of the new collection. Uh, very interesting prints, I think. Bright colours, obviously not my style, but um, this bag is so cute. And I saw this, guys, um, while I was walking past. It's like a poncho with a hood, with a Fendi on the back. I think this is quite nice, actually. I'm not sure if that clip is part of the poncho, or they've just added it, but I think this is cute. Oh my gosh, guys, I've just spotted this in gold. On camera, it's not showing up, but the gold actually in here is really quite glittery. On camera, it's showing up more beigey cream, but it's actually quite a nice gold. This is so cute. I've seen this dress before. Camera really isn't showing the colour. This is like a, a, a much more bright gold. It's come up like a champagne, but it's really not. I want to see how much this bag is. And guys, they've got these Fendi sandals. I don't know how I feel about these. They're cute, but they're a bit clunky. 
and the gold bag is 1450 I really like that. And guys, look, Fendi have the navy version of this coat. You know they have it in black, grey, I've seen beige, I think. But I've not seen the navy one before. I'm wondering if it's new. Love this. Yeah, guys, so the SA said this came out a couple of days ago. The navy with the gold. Beautiful. So, guys, just a correction. This is actually from the winter collection, they said. But they never received them because they were sold out at the time. So, this just came in a couple of days ago. I love this. Guys, these are the only new sandals from 22S. And those as well. So, nothing much here. I'm going to try on these boots. We've seen these before. Um, downstairs and accessories are literally nothing. They have one like pink camera shaped bag with the new, you know, the Chanel handle with the rope chain written in Chanel. I'll insert a picture if I can, but that's it. Guys, when I tell you I had to squeeze my foot in these, they are so tight. I don't even, like, I can't even like walk in them. And this is like the wide fit version. <laughs> So this is obviously a no because they're too tight. Guys, these are so nice as well. Like they're actually quite nice and chic because they've got like that kind of shiny leather. Um, and they're 1,100, I think. So guys, I'm just walking down Duke Street. I don't know why I'm showing you this, but I think this building is so pretty. Like there's some shops down there. Uh, people maybe live up there, I don't know, but look. It obviously like used to be an old church. I don't know if it still is, but it's such a pretty building. Down this street and towards Goyard, towards Mayfair, they're bu the buildings are just so beautiful. Like I love certain pockets of London just because of the buildings. But I just thought I'd show you guys that. Um, yeah. guys so this is like a well-known hotel in london the connaught um this is like we're kind of like basically in the heart of mayfair if you've never been here before uh there's the goyard shop right there so i'm going to film literally from across the road and then we'll stop filming and then when you go around this bend here there's more like boutiques and shops and when you kind of keep on going around the bend that's when you get to like like haki san like sexy fish all these like really like Instagrammable, popular restaurants. I'm not sure they're like, they're not made out to be like as much as they really are online. Uh, I went to Hakkasan. I don't think I vlogged that, but food was nice, but kind of expected more. Anyway, and there's like all the car showrooms and all like, there's Annabelle's around the corner and things like that. If you guys know, you know. Um, but yeah, here's the Goyard shop. Um, I'll cross the road just to see a little bit more closer for you guys. And they've got like the trunks outside. Um, but yeah. So I'm going to go inside, put my camera away, and um, see what they have. So guys, I'm just continuing to walk down Mount Street to get to Park Lane, basically. Then I'm going to hop on a bus to go past Harrods towards South Kent to have lunch, and then I'll walk back up to Carrot Harrods. So um, the bag that I saw, I love this bag I saw on Instagram. <laughs> it's £4,000, £4,070. Um, he showed me, I'll insert a picture of the bag that I actually like. Let me turn the camera around. It's like the only restaurant worthwhile in, um, I shouldn't say that really, but this Scott, do you see Scott's? I can have breakfast, lunch and dinner at Scott's. I mean, delicious. Um, I went there. Yes, yeah, so I went to Scott's obviously on my birthday last year. I vlogged that day, I believe. I, I have got a video of that up. So, um, yeah, Scott's guys, if you have never been, go to Scott's. Anyway, back to the bag. I'll insert a picture of the bag. Because I'm always in black, I feel like a blue bag will be fine. Um, I'm quite anxious about buying a coloured bag. But I think wearing black, it'll be perfectly fine. He showed me it in white in and in gold. It was a limited edition gold. What I noticed about Goyard bags is that the hardware is always silver. So that's a bit of a problem for me. However, it's not gonna to be too much of a problem where I won't buy the bag. Um, he showed me he showed me a gold, but it was a limited edition gold. So because the bag is like it was like a yellowy gold, the hardware is also gold. And he said, because it's a trunk bag, the gold hardware also comes in there like brown and black print. 
um, that automatically comes in gold hardware but not in the bag that I want so even in the brown and black print it will still come with silver hardware so I'm not going to get gold hardware no matter what um, he said it's uh, so they get colours as and when so they never have all the colours in one go um, he said the bags become popular in the last six months so they kind of been selling out and have limited colours available uh, but what you can do is just pay for the bag basically this is their version of ordering it you just pay for the bag and um, like the system will kind of see in Paris that somebody's paid for that bag in that colour so what they'll do they'll try, to, they'll try to make sure that that bag goes onto the shipment to be stocked in the store so obviously the customer can get their bag it's up to six months they say that just as a time window but he says he's never known it to be six months it'd be like a few weeks a month because they really do try to just source the stock and send it to the boutique where the client has paid for the bag so um the thing is though guys like birthday options is like i have to really like decide on one thing because it's not going to be like just buying multiple things for my birthday we have to have some kind of um restrictions here because it just ain't gonna happen so i need to decide it's either the van cleave i really want the van cleave bracelet the gold alhambra one or this bag and in my mind it's like i have how many bags but i have zero <laughs> van cleave bracelets so it's kind of like get the van cleave bracelet right and that's how i always do my um my even my wish lists i look at um obviously price is important but i always look at the actual category that the item is in so if the item is in a category that i don't own much items in that category i would fulfill that item before like you know another handbag for example so i have to decide anyway i've reached park lane guys so i'm gonna go on the bus to South Kent and I'll see you guys when we have lunch. So guys, this is what I've got to start with. This is bruschetta but it's on their specials menu because it's blood orange bruschetta and this is basically fried mozzarella with a spicy tomato sauce. And guys, for my main I got a goat's cheese and avocado salad. So guys, I just bought myself a sweet treat from Paul. I just got a milfe, um while I walk up to Harrods. I'm gonna eat it like a <laughs> piggy on my way up to Harrods. So guys, I'm just walking down from South Kent to Harrods and I found this store, Bagista. And look at these bags, guys. They have like brand new and secondhand bags. As you can see, they have like bags that were like out of stock in Chanel everywhere. Can you believe this? I can't believe I found this shop. They have Dior, Louis, Chanel. Look, they have minis. They have so many minis on the window. I'll show you the window when I go outside. The all black mini. Coco handles everything. This is an amazing find. He said they opened about three months ago. Then we've got the Gucci. And some more Louis Vuitton. Uh, but they've got like the pink mini in the window and the blue mini in the window. Um... We've got this grey one. This is a really good find, guys. So if you're ever in Harrods, um, yeah, just walk down towards South Kent. It's on the same side as Harrods. Even got Goyard. Show you the window display as well. Look, Chanel, Chanel, and Minis. Look at these Minis. So, guys, if you want to come past here, there you go, Bagista baggy stuff whatever you want to say um it's literally like carrot is right there you can't see it because this building's sticking out but it's literally there so just walk this way from Harrods and you'll find it so guys they got the prada pop-up here but what i'm gonna do is i'm not gonna go in here i'm gonna take you to the what used to be the prada chalet but it's now called prada tropico or something like that as i said i saw it in my last vlog that got stolen so i'm gonna take you up there to see it um, but we can have just a quick look at these bags um, here and then we can go upstairs guys I was just walking past Fendi thinking not to stop because obviously we've seen it but they've got a blue one out now you see that haven't seen the blue before
So guys, the SA just said the second drop launched a couple of days ago where they got the blue and gold. So you can see the blue and gold and everything. So they also had the gold in the um, Fendicography um, bags too. So guys, following my horrific experience in the last vlog that I didn't get to upload, I'm really, really scared about um, filming in Chanel. <laughs> Um, it's quite empty downstairs now, but there's 27 people in front of me, so I don't think I'm going to be seen today. They have quite a few 22S items on display. Um, I've got quite a few minis, but I'm not sure whether they're from 22S or not. And um, the Chanel 22 bag, I saw it in pink, and I've only ever seen it in the black and white combination. So they've got it in pink. And um, what else do I see? A blue mini, pink mini, but I think they're old. And I saw oh, a navy, a dark navy classic flap. Not sure if it's new or old because they have the classic flap in the dark navy and this like um, bucket bag too. But we'll see, if I have a turn then I can show you guys. If not, I don't know what I'm gonna do. So I'm just um, at ready to wear now because ready to wear often has some bags that downstairs don't have and it's much easier to see them in here. Guys, this is called the Pick Me Up style with a Chanel chain. I've not seen this. I saw the boxy version in Selfridges. And Selfridges says it doesn't come in anything but pink and purple. But they've got it in black, blue, pink, white and purple. So this is part of 22S. Okay, guys, I found this hoodie from 22S. It's so nice. Um, let's see. It's 2780 obviously, for cashmere. But look at the buttons. So this is the sleeve and it goes down like that. And then there's the cardigan version. This is actually the back of the cardigan. So it buttons down at the back. And then, guys, this is the front. And look at the buttons. Oh, it's not gonna focus. There you go, look. Oh, these gold buttons are so beautiful. And this one is, 2760 they also have like these little bralettes and these um the long black skirts and um, with the hip cut out and the short black skirts with the hip cut out but i'm gonna try these both on in a 36 so guys this is it on um you can't really see that well because i've got a long polo jumper on with it but you kind of get the vibe guys this is the hoodie on Ignore this, this is my jumper, the, it actually ends here, it's a cropped hoodie. You can button off the sleeves as you can see, all the way around there. And then we've got the hood. What do you think? Guys, this is a jacket that I tried on in uh, the vlog that we shall not talk about, that was stolen from us. Beautiful Louis Vuitton jacket. So this is it, uh, it's not buttoned up. It's got two layers of buttons. It's also got a belt, as you can see. I'm gonna do the belt up for you in a second. This jacket, yeah, is so nice. And guys, this is it, belted up. Um, I just think this is so banging. Like, look at it, so nice. Just the details are just so pretty with the gold so nice this is a 36 that I have on it's quite loose fitting it's three I think it's about three seven this jacket is so quite on the pricey side it's really like lightweight like a windbreaker kind of rain jacket -y type it's very very loose lightweight material but I really like it So guys, just so you can see what it looks like hung up, my battery's on 1%, so I may not be able to show you the Prada Tropico thing. So if I don't, thank you for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed. Right, guys, I'm starting to think that this vlog isn't supposed to be filmed and uploaded because my battery died. So the last thing you saw was me trying on the um, Louis Vuitton trench coat and then my phone died. So just some more details on that coat. It's the reason why it's nearly four grand. I was wondering why, because it's not like they're wool, cashmere, you know, thick kind of coats. It's very lightweight. The material is all silk, so that's why it's nearly four grand. Um, I'm very sorry my battery died. I think obviously I'm gonna have to go back to Harris to kind of end this vlog properly because I didn't get to show you the Prada Tropico Chalet. If not, I'll just have to make that another vlog. Um, if I don't get to go back before the end of this week to upload it, um, I can only apologize that my battery died. Um, thank you for watching the second half of this vlog. I hope that I have the third part 
um, by the time this video uploads. Otherwise, it will just be left where it was left, which is here. Um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you at the Prada Chalet. If not, that will be in my next video. So thank you guys. I also got my eyebrows done just now. But I still have the sunglasses on because, number one, I wiped off all my eyebrow pencil to get them done. Number two, I just got like a touch up so i just got like tiny bits taken off so they still look quite wild but i think i'm gonna have to do it in like stages to get the right thickness and the right shape again um so they still look quite a mess so i'm still trying to cover them up but yeah see you guys soon bye